Hey boys, decided to make a uh, multi-hold jam jar, and uh, so I've punched four quarter inch holes in this sucker, and on the back side I put a valve on two of them, see if I can get a little more energetic exhaust phase and a little more air going in. Uh, it works actually fairly well. Let me see if I can get it running for the video. Okay, got some methanol in here. <laughs> right in the face. Okay, it works a lot better than this, I know. Just blow in it from a from a distance here, and off to the side, because sometimes it's lit and you can't see it. If you blow straight in there, you're gonna get a snootful. I guess the only thing I can say about jam jars is you need persistence. And when the glass gets too hot, you just gotta walk away for a while. There we go. And I can see the valves functioning. Wild. I'm gonna take a, a sound file of this. Ah, uh, snapped it. Uh, I'm gonna take a sound file of that and compare it to the natural frequency of the of the uh, the valves and maybe I'll make some changes to the valve to get it to the uh, the right time here I got another one uh, ah, see there it was it was on fire I couldn't see it Glad my face wasn't down there. Get some more methanol. <clears throat> this is uh, the jam jar friend. Heat, pure methanol, alcohol. Put a little bit in, about a tablespoon. This one here, I put uh, five holes in. Usually, you put about a uh, seven sixteenths or uh, a um, half inch hole in a in a bigger jar here. Small jar like this. Uh, this salsa jar is. Uh, I would usually put a seven sixteenths hole in. This time, I tried uh, five five thirty seconds holes. Uh, just to see what's what. Seems to be a little more energetic. Uh, so let's try this one. Okay, I blew it out. I don't want to blow this one up. So. <clears throat> Anyhow, I want to play with those uh, those valves there. I'm going to analyze that sound file. Let's see what's what. Talk to you later.